this is a beast of a broadcast camera. It's really good seeing it in person, just in terms of sheer size. Like, there's a lot of files on here, but what I like about that Magic system is it is, again, kind of like Canon, it's quite simple to use. It's not ultra complicated, although it can seem intimidating because there is a lot of buttons on here. But I do like the simplicity of, of Blackmagic and how their camera system is well. So this is for proper broadcasting. You might not need it for a YouTube video, but you know it's for proper broadcast setup if you're doing like a sports event or you know like a TV show or film, feature film, you might use you might use this kind of camera for that. Yeah, some time codes 12 voltage you've got i think this is probably for a, if you want to hold the camera you might do it here like you saw with like the fx6 sony fx6 or the uh, canon c300 mark mark 3 or mark and mark 2 i believe got an sdi port here sdi out got 12 voltage out here which is cool this one's for the lens so I believe that's so you can control the lens. So that comes in here. And then you've got your devices for the lens on here. So this is a beast of a cinema lens. You've got like, that's your focus system. Okay, your iris, all of this. You've got this uh, beast of a lens here. You've got a Fujion lens attached, 4K broadcast quality camera and you've got your different dials on the lens as well and this is controlling your iris and your focus and your t-stop you need a proper tripod for this so that's really good we've got this tripod system here by Sancho and so you can see for the peaking. The contrast here. The brightness. And there's a menu system here. So if you push it in, then the menu comes up. Right, so when you want to select on here, what you got to do, you got to push it down and then you turn it like this and then it will change your parameters on here so you can see with false color changes but what i need to do is push it down and then i can move on to the next one you can see your guides you turn them on and off i've got my guides on zoom on zoom off display LUTs so now you got different film LUTs there that looks nice we you just want it flat then you've got that audio meters you can see that I like to leave that on exposure meters put that on red channel green channel blue channel black and white so you can switch it to black and white on and off so that's for the display that camera kind of looks like the one on that warrior creator merch links in the description below and then you've got your shortcuts so you can assign shortcuts here that you want you can switch it to audio meter exposure meter so button F1 so you got button F1 here so if you want button F1 then you can have your exposure meter be that okay or you could have it as a red channel button F2 you've got your guides you got your lux display you can change whatever you want so again if I want it as my guides I just switch that so again the button two 
F2 will be here. So you've got F1, F2, and F3. So you can select what you want there. You can have your false color, you guys. You can just change it to whatever you want. See if I want it to be display lots, I've changed that now. So that's great. And then you with your setup you can change your different settings here. So you got front total brightness, rear tally brightness, focus assist, frame guides, we have area, a safe area guide on grid, audio meters. And we've got the LCD brightness, well, the 100 will keep it there. So that's how you change your setup. And then your cursor settings are here. So that's your menu system up here. Just go back. You can just press back as well, and then you go back to the main screen. So also, I've noticed here you've got the F1, F2, F3 buttons here. So if I press that, so if I press F1, lights up when it's selected so that's basically going to show this histogram here if I press F2 F2 is now showing me the guides so that comes on and off again if I press F3 and I've got the LUT that comes on and off so remember if we go back to our menu by pressing this then we go to our shortcuts at the top. That's what these were, you see? You got your exposure meter, your guides, and your LUTs. That's what I've set it to. So again, if I press these, it's giving me those different settings, you see? So you can set that shortcuts up here, but simultaneously you can press actually it doesn't actually work that way it works more for it on here so literally just discovered with those f1 f2 f3 buttons they're actually on this part of the camera here with the monitor not here on the side of the camera so that's all operated up here so that's where you would change your shortcuts. This here is for your shortcuts for all of that, so that's good. So you can customize that to whatever you want, which is really, really cool. So again, like if you want to customize it, you can customize it up here. And it's nice because it's a nice, easy reach for the DP. The DP's just got buttons that they, all they have to do is press it and they can just like switch to whatever they want, whether it be the LUTs, the guides, uh, audio meters, or whatever you choose. So that's pretty cool.